We're back. This time we're looking at E chords. This is Mojo from LearnTheUkulele.com. I hope you've enjoyed the other videos. We've done A, B, C, and D. We're back for the E chords now. Without further ado, I'm going to place my index finger at the second fret of the A string, and then I'm going to put my uh, middle finger at the fourth fret of the G string, my ring finger at the fourth fret of the C string, and my pinky at the fourth fret of the only available string, which would be the uh, E string, and this is what it looks like. And hopefully when I strum it, it'll sound like an E chord. Now, for an E7, I'm going to place my index finger at the first fret of the G string, my middle finger at the second fret of the uh, C string, and then my uh, ring finger at the second fret of the A string. And therefore the E string remains untouched. For an E minor, which I tend to use actually a fair amount when I play, um, I'm going to place my index finger at the second fret of the A string, I'm going to place my middle finger at the third fret of the E string, and I'm going to place my ring finger at the fourth fret um, of the uh, C string. The G string remains unfretted, and this is an E minor chord. It looks like this. For an E minor 7 this time, I'm going to place my index finger at the second fret of the C string, and I'm going to place my middle, pardon me, my ring finger at the second fret of the A string. So the G string and the E string are not fretted. And that's an E minor 7. Now, keeping this position, but sliding it down one fret, gives you an E diminished. Here it is. Still just two fingers at the first fret, respectively, of the C string and the A string. The G and E string remain unfretted. E diminished. For an E augmented, however, I would put my index finger at the first fret of the G string and my pinky at the third fret, or you can put your uh, uh, ring finger if you want. I just find it more comfortable to use the pinky. So index finger, first fret, G string, Pinky, 3rd fret, A string. The C and E strings remain untouched. And that's an E augmented uh, chord. For an E6, I'm going to leave my index finger at the 1st fret of the G string, and I'm going to place my ring finger at the 2nd fret of the E string. So the C and the A are untouched. And that's an E6. I hope this was helpful to you. Next up, the F chords. Thank you.